After seeing Beauty Day and finding it to be a wonderful documentary, I quickly jumped on to how to build a time machine. Not really too sure what I was getting into with this, but knowing that Jay Chiel had directed both this and Beauty Day. And this was a kind of wonderful documentary. A really quick 82 minutes is one of those tales that draws you in and be with a kind of quirky idea and expands into something much more impactful as the film goes on. We follow two characters here. Uh, we follow Robert Niozzi, who is a man that's creating a real life replica of the time machine from the time machine. And we have Robert Mallet, a physicist who is looking for a way to make time travel a reality. And we have these two quirky men and what the film boils down to is kind of obsession as they focus on their passions if they have been captured by an idea how it permeates their mind and drives them forward pushing the everything that they have towards this one goal and i absolutely loved it as we focused on robert we see him just building a time machine talking about the impact of seeing the film for the first time and then we slowly etch into the fascination and the obsession part of it as he is quickly drawn into this belt. But I had no idea what I was actually getting myself into. So the three month project is now going into its ninth year. And it's not an easy task. Something that he thought was going to be easy, he constantly changes the parameters trying to make it better. You know, he doesn't want just a replica. He wants it made of the right materials. He's going into the source novel and looking at what the things were, what's brass, has to be made of brass, and creates this lavish and luxurious uh, take on the time machine while being wholly original to the concept. And we kind of see that fascination with perfection, how he has to have everything spot on, how he struggles with the smallest faults. So the dish is finished and it's perfect. Well, not exactly perfect. Uh, I hesitated telling you this. How he struggles to even own up to things that are just aren't quite perfect. He knows as most people do in this kind of situation, that it's incredibly wrong what he's focusing on. But he just can't stop himself from doing it. And it, it just comes out uh, very clear in the film, this obsession. It's the same with Robert, uh, Ronald, sorry, who is a professor that, again, understands that time travel is ludicrous, a little bit silly, far-fetched science fiction but he is a scientist and he's moving into that and he talks about his career and how he kind of hid his fascination with this until he was at a position where he could look into it plausibly uh, without being laughed out of his field. I wanted to uh, raise through the academic ranks and eventually become a full professor and get my tenure. And I knew that if I said that I was trying to work on a time machine, that might cut my career short. And again, it's another fascinating, fascinating tale of a man who was driven by a desire to do something, who was impacted by this piece of entertainment that drove his whole life. But as we kind of discover these men, discover their fascination with the time machine, we also discover their understanding of what they would do if they actually had a time machine and that's when you get to hear some of the more sadder tales the losses that they've had the emotional impact of losing loved ones and how that has created this other world where they can focus their attention if any one of those situations didn't occur or was slightly different that the outcome would have been different and that ray would still be with us if I had a time machine, I would go back and do this. I would focus on this person. I would go and see someone that I lost early or try to save them. All these things that could have been avoided with a time machine. And it hits home in a really impactful manner, while still being completely entertaining, wonderfully shot and just captivating from the opening scene. How to build a time machine is one that could possibly be easily skipped by. And I urge you not to do it. I found it really rewarding. I found it to be a tale that 
kept expanding and adding new avenues of where to go. From a quirky idea to an emotionally impactful finale, I was with these gentlemen as they went on their uh, trials and tribulations while they chased their obsessions. It was wonderfully done. I would highly recommend picking up How to Build a Time Machine. I'm very glad to have this. I think it's a wonderful documentary and one that I will go back to again uh, because the story of these two men really did resonate with me. I would love to know your thoughts on how to build a time machine. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you've picked this up, if you're going to, what you thought of the movie, if you've seen it. While you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button because it really helps these videos. There's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff if you're interested. And in the description box below are links to the Patreon, membership program and manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.